Welcome back to an episode of Mechanical Nightmare. So, customer states, after you guys replaced my oil cooler housing, I've got a fuel leak. Well, everything looks pretty okay until you go down over here. And you find the hole that some unscrupulous person drilled into the fuel tank. So yeah, it leaks fuel. Mostly just when you hit the brake. Customer states their steering feels weird after they nudged a curb. World's first spinner. Honda Metropolitan 50. A little bit of JB Weld here on the case. Yeah, look at that. Oh yeah. Sealing nice and good there, bud. Another problem. That's the uh, engine oil drain plug. So, um, yeah, and I have to do an oil change. So, guess I'm gonna have to get creative. This customer just laughed after seeing the state of their brakes and told the mechanics they still stopped the car. Yikes. And it's funny because the bearing's actually still okay. Yeah. Like the impeller is, and it looks like a brand new water pump on these. Yeah, it does. Customer states my engine won't turn over. This was due to coolant mixing with the oil as one of the cylinder liners cracked. It caused the oil to clump up like this and soon after locked the engine up. Yeah, she's mint. The mechanic found this fluid coming out of this customer's Jeep's transfer case. Likely a broken breather hose let water in and mixed with the oil. This customer had just got an oil change in their 2008 Sonata before it started smoking like this every time they drove. They pointed fingers at the other shop, but it turns out it was actually the valve cover gasket that had started to leak oil onto the engine.
Thanks for watching. You can submit your own videos using the link below. Also remember to like and subscribe.